hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you all so much for tuning in today i'm going to be showing you how i make my tomato paste at home i got a lot of tomatoes in the house so some of it were getting bad so i decided to make it in the form of a paste and keep it in my freezer so i can be using it little by little so the first thing i'm going to be doing is i have to wash my tomatoes thoroughly to make sure they're really clean before i cut them Yeah, now I'm done chopping my tomatoes. The next thing I'm going to be doing now is to blend it. Now I'll just add a little bit of water in the tomato in my blender and I blend it very well. But this species of tomato I'm using has a lot of seed and if you have to blend it, you have to blend it very well. Me, I didn't blend it too much so that's why when you you wash my own you will see that it's still having a lot of seed in it but if you have to do because that is how i wanted mine to be if you want your own to be without seed or to be properly blended then you have to blend it very well so that it becomes a puree and now i'm just going to start cooking the tomato i'll cook it for about 45 minutes and on medium heat medium to high heat it depending on on your your flame or depending on your stove so i made my on medium heat so i keep on stirring to make sure it doesn't get sticked at the bottom of the pot My tomato is ready i'm just going to use a sieve my sieve to strain it this sieve is the sieve i always use to make my camo or you call it pap so i will use the same sieve to strain my tomato Yeah, the water is still coming out, so I'll just leave it here for some time, for let's say 30 minutes for all the water to come out. Once it's dry, I'm just going to use my all-purpose freezer bags to package it and then I'll put it in the freezer while I continue with the next one. Since I, the reason why I'm using, I'm packaging it separately is because I have only one sieve, so... Once this is dry, I will take it out and then I will put the next one. Okay guys, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I will be happy to see you again in my next video.